thank you, Senator Rosen, Senator Ernst, uh, our other senators, Mike Bird and Booker, uh, as well as my colleagues in the House, David Trone and Wagner, uh, uh, Morris Rogers. It is a great privilege to be here to be talking about the Defend Act. We face an increasingly dangerous world in the Middle East. It all focuses in many different ways on Iran. Today, as we speak, Iran is on the one-yard line with its nuclear program. Today, as we speak, Iran just announced that they were ceasing allowing the IAEA to operate their cameras in their facilities. Today, as we speak, Iran just recently announced that they are installing two new cascades of centrifuges, more advanced centrifuges, meaning they can manufacture enriched uranium that much quicker. But it's not just about Iran's nuclear program. Iran has missile capabilities that are getting better, getting more accurate, going farther each and every day. And Iran is building its relationships with its proxies, Hezbollah in Lebanon, militias in Syria, Houthis in Yemen, threatening our allies in the region, whether it is Israel, the Gulf countries, or any of the other nations that are willing to stand up to Iran. We must all together stand up to Iran. But at the same time, as has been mentioned, we have a new reality. A new reality in the region because of the Abraham Accords. Two years ago, we stood in the White House lawn as Israel, Bahrain, UAE, signed an agreement that normalized relations. In the years since then, we have seen those relations deepen and grow. We need to expand upon that. The economic and commercial and social relations between those countries are obviously important. And that's why I'm proud of my colleagues to have created here the Abraham Accords Caucus. It is critical that the U.S. leadership demonstrated two years ago in creating the context and opportunity to form the Abraham Caucus. Abraham Accords continues today. And working with the Abraham Accords Caucus, we will do that. But for all the economic, social, and commercial aspects of the Abraham Accords and the new reality in the region, security is and must remain at the forefront. And that's why the DEFEND Act is and it will be so important going forward. Iran's capabilities, in particular their missile capabilities, are a threat to the entire region. Many of our allies in the region have missile defense capabilities, whether it's Patriot systems or other things, in Israel with the Iron Dome system, but they aren't integrated. We need to bring those together, and it is U.S. leadership, and it is the work that we're discussing with the DEFEND Act, and promoting with the DEFEND Act, that will make the difference. We can stand up to Iran. We can work to foster peace in the region by bringing the nations of the regions together. The DEFEND Act and U.S. leadership will make that difference, and that's why it's so important that as we stand here today, House and Senate, Republicans and Democrats, stand united saying we will work together with our allies in the region to lift up the lives, to promote the security, to make sure that Iran can't be the threat that it wishes to be. Thank you, and with that, let me introduce my friend and colleague, David Trump.